now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it power, and then I'm going to surge. I'm going to give it power and surge. So you can see what it looks like when I let go of the power really quick. Let go of power. Big surge. A little bit of power. Let go of the power. Big surge. So deep breath, shoulders back, chest out, looking on that place on the horizon where you want to go to, right? Because you're going to look at your wingtips, and then you're going to look again where you're going on that horizon. So find the spot on that horizon, look at your windsock, try to figure out which way the wind is coming from, where I'm going to be going, where I'm going to stop, where I'm going to turn around. Think about all that stuff before you head on out. Make sure your carabiners are straight before you head on forward. And I know that you said that your shoulders hurt, so we'll just do this one time okay. to make sure. kind of why I'm in right now. Yes. Or I'll put them out when I go, but just that angle. I was able to do push-ups the other night, though. Oh, good. I didn't kill it. I did like 30, you know, so. That's more than I can do. I'm trying to bring the strength back to the shoulders. All right, ready when you are. Deep okay. breath, shoulders back, chest out. Where are you going to? As soon as you start moving forward, we're looking at the wing tips. Then look back at the horizon where you're going to so you don't drift. Run hard, run hard, look at your wing tips. Run hard, run hard, look at your wing tips. Very good, let go of the A's. Stay underneath the low side. Good job. See how nice and boaty and fly this thing? This thing just wants to fly. Now, when you're ready, turn around and walk backwards. Now, walk backwards. Very good. Keep on walking backwards. Grab your A's. Grab your A's. Walk forward. Grab your A's. Very good. Pull, 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 pull. Let go of the A's. Brake check it. Now, give it a little bit of brake. It's going to start coming down. Now, just stay in one spot. Make sure it comes down evenly. Walk backwards. Grab your A's. Walk forward nice and gently. Very good. Reverse, but we don't want to do a four because our shoulders hurt or something. Okay. Right? Yep. So that's why we're teaching you this because of your shoulder issues. All right. Here we go. All right, pull hard. Pull, 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 pull. I see a big twist in your lines. There we go. Looks good. Nice turn. Turn around, turn around quickly, quickly, kite the wing, so pull. So don't, so what happened is you turned around and you grabbed your risers, All right? So you have no control when you're grabbing your risers. You wanna keep your brakes to the side, right? So it tilted off this way. So if you would have pulled left, that would have came up correctly. As soon as you grab onto your risers, you have no control. I think this. I'm gonna turn around and go forward. Okay. But I'm gonna try that turn around right away. As long as my wing is stable and straight, mm -hmm. I'm not going to waste this much time going backwards. I'm going to get straight to it based on what you were okay. suggesting. All right. And then back around again after landing. Okay. okay. All right. Wing comes up. He turns around. He taxis. He commits. Now he landed. Now he just landed. You turn around, walking backwards. Looks good. Everything's nice and even. Grabbing the A's, pulling backwards, and setting it down gently. Very good. Very good. Very good. High five. Patow. So up, and I'm keeping it reversed. I'm not turning around this time, right? I would say that you're getting pretty close to that, and there's plenty of wind that we can keep it up in reverse. Nice inflation. Keep it stabilized. Good job. Wind is awesome. If that wind is good enough to walk forward and bring it back that way, do that. If not, I'm watching your trees too. I'm watching your trees too. First time with the Atom 80. Going to feel what the thrust is like.
That's a lock. I know, you haven't even done it yet. It comes up, even trying to be smooth. I know, right? Is my leg good? I'm not gonna get chopped or nothing? You're good. Okay. First time with the motor on the back, this is only an Atom 80. Everybody thinks an Atom 80 doesn't have a lot of thrust, but it does. Okay, that's a lot. Just a little nervous. <laughs> Forget a monster. This is all you need. I know. That's... Holy crap. I know, right? All right, ready for trust your thrust? So what you're going to do now is you're going to turn around and you're going to start walking this way and you're going to start to roll on that full throttle. So as you're rolling on that full throttle, you're really leaning back. So I am setting down the Atom 80 after I laid out the wall. This is the same way as I would set up a trike, but because I don't want to have this on my back, bending over, picking that up, connecting, that's hard on our backs, right? We don't want to do that. We're old men. Look at the crane is here. Look at the crane in my ear. So what we're doing is we lay this all out and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the connection point down here. And we always step back and we always double check to make sure the A's are on top and everything else drapes below it, right? So we know that the A's are gonna go forward, that's the leading part and it's gonna go like this. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna connect the carabiner like this. Very good. We're going to pull that forward and we're going to double check to make sure that our trims are set to what we want it to be and that our brakes are free and clear to the pulley, but we're going to double check here a minute again. We'll bend that forward like that. It's going to connect like so. Bring it forward. Check to make sure that your trims are set. Make sure your brakes are free and clear to pulley, even though we're going to double check again. Very good. So now, why do we do something like this? Well, number one, is the weight of the paramotor on your back right now? No. No, it's not. Can we go over and check out uh, the wing and double check? Yeah, of course we can. So we're going to come over and double check our wing. So what are the things on the wing tips that we always want to double check? Ensuring that the lines are not wrapped around the backside. Right, because that's called a what? A cravat, right? We don't want a cravat. So we're making sure that there's no lines that are wrapped around. We can inspect our wing to make sure this is exactly the way that we want it. We can double check to make sure that we are going directly into the wind. We can double check everything. So I really like this because number one, it's not on the back. Number two, it's not on our back. <laughs> Old men, right? We don't want that stuff on our back. All right, so now once we are, are ready and we know that we um, are ready to go, now we're gonna do some taxiing with this, but the motor is not gonna be on, it's not gonna be running. However, we will have the motor on our back off. So you can kind of feel what it feels like to buckle in. And when you make that first inflation, you'll be able to feel the wing lifting you up, right? If the wind was heavier, we could have set this around the other side and got it set up for a uh, reverse inflation. I think that the wind is good enough that we can do a forward inflation, especially since you have the weight of the motor on your back to help propel you forward. All right, so go ahead and so 
So we got the leg. We got the other leg. We got our chest. Our chest. And chin. All right, now we're going to double check our leg, leg, chest, yep. chest, chin, leg, and make leg. sure that it is tight enough. Are they tight enough where they need to be? If they are, great. If not, we're just going to adjust them. Make sure yep. the chest good. is good. Leg, leg, chest. chest. Do we need to pull the chest, chest tighter, or is that good? That's good. All right, how about your other chest? Is that good? Good. And your chin? It's not and turned chin. Good. All right, excellent. My doors are shut and locked. So go ahead and lift this up so they're even. There you go. Doors are shut and locked. Doors are shut and locked. My trims are set and even. Very good. My streets are straight. Okay. Brakes are free and clear to the police. Excellent. Behind. There you go. Excellent. If we were going to fly, we'd have our throttle in our hand, but we're not going to do the throttle right now. I want you to do this without the throttle, and then we're going to do it again with the throttle. All right, so when you're ready, run towards me for a forward inflation. Inflate it, stabilize it, turn around, Kite the wing down anywhere that you want to. Nice inflation. Don't forget to look at your wing tips. Don't let it overshoot you. See how it's kind of collapsing over here? So you got to get that collapse out. It's going to come down. Pull the low side. All right, so we're in reverse, which is good. Glad that you're in reverse. So let me go ahead and set up the wing for reverse real up, quick. Turn around. Yep. And go forward. Exactly. Okay. So we're doing a reverse. So we step in reverse to tension up the lines. Don't forget to tension up the lines. Making sure that your mallions are even across. Very good. And your A's are on top. All right. Let's get the wing above our head so the weight of the motor gets off our shoulders. Better turn around. Pull the low side. Harder, harder, harder. All right, so now we're going to set this up as if we are going to be doing a reverse. So go ahead and grab your risers. Yeah. Put them together. Yeah, All right. Put them together. Okay. Hang on. Um, uh... Right hand underneath. Okay, you can do it that way. Flip it, and now you're going to clip it that way. Okay. job. Oops. Brakes are free and clear to the pulley. How are the streets? Ah, uh, streets. Okay. All right, so we're doing reverse, so we step Back in reverse. Up. Step in reverse. Back. Ten tension up your lines. Over, grab my A's. Right over, left under. Make sure the A's are on top. Build a wall. Excellent. Once you got that wall, make sure that your runway is clear behind you. Right harder, right harder, right harder. Oh man, that's why we have the bendy pulls out here so they don't put a hole in our wing. All right, go ahead and pop it up. Pop it up. Let's grab your A's. Nice, good job. Now walk backwards into the wind. Good job. Pull hard right, 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 harder. Pull hard right, don't turn your body. Don't turn your body, 
There you go. Pull hard right. There you go. If you turn your body, when you turn your body, I know I showed you this before, but we're videoing. So turn your body. See how you're pulling really hard one way or another? That's like you're pulling massive amount of right brake when you turn like that. So when you, you want to keep yourself straight, parallel, and you want to use the brake and you want to use your body move back and forth. Eventually in the future, you'll be able to move your hips left and right to maneuver that wing where you don't have to use your brakes at all. But that's a little bit more advanced. All right, ready, buddy? Ready. Build the wall, wing comes up. Very good. See how you went up there and it just stayed nice and even? Good job. Remember your hips, keep your body straight backwards into the wind. Everything should be parallel with that leading edge. Pull a little bit more right, 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 harder, right, harder. Walk backwards, you're walking sideways. Walk backwards, pull. Very good, set it down gently. Now notice that it went from like this and then it whipped around. You have a lot of momentum in that wing. So if it's like this and you pull a lot of brake on the right side, it might give you a lot of momentum and flip like it just did harder to the left. Very good. Now, once it's stabilized and it is stabilized, then turn around to go forward, but don't turn around forward unless it's 100% stable. Look at your wingtips. Very good. When you're ready, turn around and kite the wing. Good, stabilize it. And once it's stabilized, set it down gently and make a perfect wall. Nice and soft. We want this wing to come down so soft and gentle. Take your time, take your time, as much time as you need to bring it down. Notice that when the wing is above your head, how the weight of your motor is off your shoulders too. Isn't that nice? Yeah, All right, grab your A's. Walk. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Feel the wing, big time. Big weight difference. With this brake. is depowering the wing, right? So in heavy wing, wind, you may not be able to bring the wing down with just brakes. I understand. So since we have, you know, six, seven mile an hour wind, this is a good time to practice. So just bring it up in reverse and stabilize it. All right, so stay, keep on stabilizing it, but just look at where the purple lines are and how to, and how to grab those, right? So make sure you crouch down if you got a lot. There you go, put your butt into it, very good. Now when you're ready, reach up with your hands and you're going to reach palm out and grab the C lines because this is your A's, B's, and C's. Pull them straight down. Walk towards the wing, walk towards the wing, towards the wing, towards the wing. There you go. Then from here, you'd grab a wing tip to continue to make sure that you depower the wing. Okay. So notice where you grabbed it. We want to grab as high as we can. So if we can grab way up here, that'd be awesome too. Beautiful really nice and graceful how that wing came up I don't have to to go forward. okay if you turn around I'll push you you flew right by me Woo! Just part of the fun job.